In this tutorial, we'll look at how to add Google font to your HTML website. All right, so I have a simple example here, just an HTML file. And the only thing in the body here is an H1, a heading. And this is what it looks so far. This is the default font you get. Depends a bit on your operating system, but for most of you, it's going to be something like this. Let's say that we don't like this font. We want to have a different font. So you can go to fonts.google.com and Google has a lot of nice fonts that you can use for free. So a very popular font, for example, already here on the homepage would be Roboto. So you can, you know, you can browse here. Open Sans, also very popular, Montserrat, very popular, Lado, Poppins. Um, and actually a very popular font that I use all the time is called Inter. Let's actually use this one, Inter. What you have to do is you have to scroll down a little bit. So this website changes sometimes. It's actually a bit confusing uh, sometimes, to be honest. So what you have to do is you have to pick these uh, weights that you want. Right, so maybe I want a lightweight, I want a regular weight, medium, semi-bold. Usually you also want a uh, bold. These are usually the weights that you want. Now, when you've picked those weights, you need to click on this icon. In the past, it automatically opened up a sidebar, but now you actually have to click on the on this icon here to open up this sidebar. So here it shows you the, the, the font that you're that you want and the weight that you have picked. Then it shows you how to uh, use that in your HTML. So you can do it two ways. You can import it in your CSS like this, or you can link to it in your HTML with this. This is the more common option. So I'm gonna copy this and then you can just paste it here in the head. I do it, I'll do it before my own style sheet here. And let me do it like this. So what you're gonna get, let's see if I can format this a little bit nicer. So this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get two links here. These are a bit weird, pre-connect. These are basic. This is basically just an optimization. You don't really need them. Um, they'll just make it a bit faster, perhaps. And the third one is what you actually need. This will actually link to the actual font. Okay. So once you once you have this, this is not enough. Now you've only imported. Now you actually need to apply it to the page. So you can go into your CSS, and typically you would set this on the body element, so that other elements will automatically inherit the font. Right. So you do it with the font family, and this is inter. Right. So I'm linking to inter here. And if Inter is not available for any for any reason, maybe the server of Google is down, we can also have a backup here. So we can say, pick any sans serif font that is available on the user's computer. Right, so when I do this and refresh, you know, it can take some time, but eventually you can see the heading has changed, the font has changed to this nicer Inter font. Um, and this is how you would do it. Now about this, um, uh, URL here, you can see the, the family, the font family that you're importing, right? So I'm, I'm saying enter here. I could actually change it to Roboto and the weights are available here, right? So maybe I only want these weights. The fewer weights you have, the faster it's going to be to download. So the faster the website is going to be, right? So if I would do this and then just change it to Roboto, that also works. So if I then refresh, it should be, yeah, it should be slightly different, right? So now it's the Roboto font. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.